Yo guys, what's up? It's Warspirit back with another Stage 1 Overwatch video. This time it's with McCree, Yield, Cowboy, BAMF. I want to reintroduce my Stage 1 videos to you guys here. Basically what they are is I'm going to be taking a look at each character that I play in Overwatch, give you a brief overview of their abilities and hopefully bring you some top level gameplay, talk to you a little bit about my thoughts on these characters. And then with Stage 2 and Stage 3 styles of these videos, they could be anything ranging from just raw gameplay to gameplay commentaries or even to compare competitive level play, possibly a montage or two if I get to that stage, but stage 3 videos you can't really expect them for at least another few months because that's when I plan to have mastered that character. So starting off with nice little easy stage 1 videos, hopefully with some pretty decent gameplay for you guys as well. So this is stage 1 McCree. This is how he's looking like after maybe a few hours of playtime. The most important thing with McCree is just getting the aim locked down. Once you've got a good feel for the weapon, you'll do pretty well because then you're pretty much just pointing and clicking on people's faces with McCree and headshotting as much as possible with this little pocket sniper. My only experience with pocket snipers before has been pretty much from Crisis and Titanfall where I would play like 6v6 or free-for-alls where we played in a server where everyone was using these pistols and everyone was just running around hit firing and trying to get headshots on each other for a bit of fun. So that's my experience of pocket snipers. I'm not going to say like I'm a, I'm a super beast with pocket snipers. I usually run shotgun and SMG classes in most FPS games I play so a little bit of pocket sniping is pretty different for me but I've actually been enjoying playing McCree a lot and I wanted to get on a pretty decent level with McCree so I put in the effort and played a few rounds with them and basically ended up getting this really nice gameplay for you guys which I was really happy about. So there's lots of cool stuff in this gameplay, lots of nice little snipes, lots of picks in the enemy team and I get some really nice ultimates with McCree as well. Ultimates with McCree are pretty hard to set up but I'll talk about that later when we get to the more ultimate focused part of the game. So I did say that McCree is not really my sort of playstyle in FPS games and it's not just his style of weapon, it's also his pace. He's not a very fast paced character, he doesn't have high mobility, he's got one little roll ability and his roll ability is cool because it instantly reloads his weapon after using it, but his roll does have like a 7 second cooldown. So he's not got a whole lot of mobility, you're, you're pretty much walking, walking around maps and shooting people in the head. <laughs> so he's not, he's not fast, um, and if you're looking for a fast paced character then McCree's probably not for you. I'm definitely looking for fast paced characters to play. And I would even say that I'm playing offense here in this gameplay, so we're trying to push this payload forwards past the enemy's defenses. I would even say on offense, McCree is even slower to play because what you're doing is walking forwards, looking to see where the enemies are set up on defense and then picking them off. Whereas if you're playing defensive, well I guess if you wanted to you could just stand in one spot all day with McCree and shoot people who are running down corridors on offense, but I would say on defense you have a better chance of people face rushing you with McCree so that you can use your stuns and use your right click to feather the trigger and take people out really fast whereas on offense everyone's a stationary target on defense they're not there's no one rushing in your face so there's no chance to do those sort of big McCree plays which is empty your gun do a quick barrel roll on the ground and then empty your gun again into the enemy like that, that sort of thing doesn't happen much in this gameplay so I don't even I think I use the stun grenade once in this whole gameplay as well because the only time you need to use the stun grenade is if people get in your face and as I've said on offense there's no one really getting in your face because they're all playing super defensively so I don't know you're, you're probably gonna see two very different playstyles of McCree between playing on offense and on defense which is nice so a lot of these characters and a lot of these maps bring out a lot of different things from each of the heroes in Overwatch which is basically showcased the best in McCree, which is why I'm bringing it up in this video. Now, McCree is also another one of those characters that I like to class as god tier. He's pretty much right up there as one of the, the best players that you can expect to see a really good player play McCree, and he's going to be your absolutely worst enemy on the enemy team. Like, McCree, you're going to see McCree and you're going to be screaming to your team, guys, we got to get rid of that McCree. He's the only one dealing damage in the enemy team. Of course he's the only one dealing damage because his gun does insane damage. And you're just going to feel like McCree is the one that's carrying his whole team in a lot of matches. So yes, McCree is definitely god tier in my opinion. And I'm not quite god tier with McCree yet, but that's why this is called a stage 1 video. I wonder if I will get to stage 3 with McCree. Like, basically you would need to play him a hell of a lot. And there's other characters as well that I, I definitely do want to get to stage 3 gameplay level with. That I want to bring you sort of really top level sort of stuff with that are pretty much more down my line of gameplay. But okay, I've been on fire for pretty much all of this match so far. It's absolutely sick gameplay guys. I'm super happy to be able to bring you this one already with McCree. Didn't expect to get anything of this level just yet, but 
I just had a really awesome game. I was just on fire hitting those shots, playing really late at night. Uh, I play best late at night. It's awesome. So his ultimate. Okay, his ultimate. You guys have seen some of his ultimates so far in the gameplay. Let's talk a little bit about his ultimate. So his ultimate is comparable to the Smart Pistol in Titanfall. Let's just get that out of the way. People are like, oh, OMG, Smart Pistol, when they see this. Here it is right here for the first time. Check that out. Nice little double kill. Unfortunately, someone ducked undercover right before I got the triple kill. So that's what you do. That's how you counter McCree's out. You hear the, it's high noon. And this call out is very loud. Everyone can hear it. And you get a few seconds to react. So just duck undercover if possible. If you can duck undercover, duck undercover. The only other option is to have a Zarya shield you. That's going to make it so the McCree ult is cancelled or there's a Winston shield that will cancel it very nicely. A Reinhardt shield, jump behind your friendly Reinhardt shield, that will cancel it. Things like that. So it's not OP. It's not an OP ultimate. It's very hard to land. I just got super lucky in this gameplay here where I managed to land some really nice ultimates. Pretty much all my ultimates in this gameplay are really nice. Now the way I was playing it in this gameplay was when I had my ult ready I would pretty much try and sneak behind enemy lines to try and get it off behind them because they're probably less likely to turn around or dodge me. Uh, they'll be like, oh, where is he? Looking around a little bit. But the sound of the it's high noon, the call out for McCree's ultimate, is directional. So when someone calls it out, you should, with decent headphones, be able to tell where it's coming from. So just turn around and maybe shoot him. Kill him if possible, if you can kill him. Although it's pretty fast. If you're if you're going to be a damage dealer, chances are you're not going to be able to outkill him before he kills you with his ultimate. So just duck undercover if you can. And if you're a tank or something, you also want to be ducking undercover because his ultimate can kill you too. I mean, if you've got a tank and you're you've got a shield, then make sure you use that blooming shield right away because it's going to save your ass. I actually have another ultimate coming up right now. I've got it ready. I'm just going to sneak behind the enemy lines again and shoot them in the back. But ideally, in my opinion, playing. McCree with his ultimates like this, doing the sort of flank bind, that's not the best way to use the ultimate. Although it works really well here against these guys, it's not the best way to use it. When you want to use the ultimate, it's in coordination with teammates. Now, I've seen some really nice plays so far uh, in Overwatch with ultimate combinations. One of the best ones I've seen is a whole group of an enemy team were pushing the payload, and Azaria walks around the corner, throws her Graviton Surge onto the payload and sucks them all in. Then a McCree steps up, high noon, walks around the corner and kills, wipes the whole enemy team with his ultimate. That's when you want to be using your ultimate. Have someone on your team distract the enemy team so that you have a chance to, to use yours. Now your ultimate actually lasts quite a while. McCree's ultimate lasts about 10 seconds. So you can use it while you're undercover and the enemy's looking around, oh, where's McCree? We don't even see him, he's just in his ultimate. He's not even anywhere to be seen. And then you just slowly walk around the corner, hopefully no one's looking for you, and then you ultimate them and kill them all. So it's just lots of different ways to try and use his ultimate effectively. I think when you're playing McCree for the first time, you're going to be trying to use his ultimate and not having a good time with it because you're not, it's very hard. I'm not going to say that his ultimate is easy. Sure, it looks it looks easy because it's auto lock on, auto insta kill on pretty much the whole enemy team. It's, it's not easy to use though, so I'd say it's a pretty fun ultimate like just because of that. Overall, McCree is really fun to play, like definitely super fun to play, especially if you're one of those guys with really sick aim and you like this sort of sniper playstyle that McCree brings to the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little gameplay. Unfortunately, it does end in a defeat for our team. We played so well throughout the start and the middle of the game, but up at the end point right here where the enemy team are constantly spawning on this payload, we actually got to the bar up to like 99.9% complete and then we tried like three more pushes on the payload and not once could we wipe the enemy team and push it over the finish line. It was absolutely insane. I was totally gutted that this awesome gameplay of McCree ended in defeat for us but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway and thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you guys again in another stage one video. I don't know what character I'm bringing next yet. I guess I just have to get lucky with another sick gameplay in the game with whatever character I'm playing and thanks so much for watching guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.